The commissions are on about £1,200 a day each and even more commissioners have brought in to run even more of the city. So basically, if you're an elected councillor, you've more or less got no say. The Tories are running the city. This didn't need to happen if the Liverpool city councillors, Labour councillors, had listened to the community some months back in the first place and it could have been a no-cut budget. So I feel betrayed. But what we're saying to the Labour council is, time you got off your knees, organised a fight, organised a real campaign of going out to the communities. The Labour group shouldn't be just rolling over and cooperating with the commissioners, they should be fighting back and that fight back should be part of a mass campaign to put pressure on the Tories to put more money into cities like Liverpool and to, for our city here to link up with other cities throughout the country and it's the job of our movement to fight back. There's another 73 million Tory cuts coming down the pipeline and um, we can't afford to be losing more libraries, more one-stop shops, more adult social care. And if we think about these places, these are places where some of the most marginalised in our community access basic services. We're in a cost of living crisis where in many other cities they're actually keeping the libraries open longer so that people can go in there and just keep warm as a space to keep warm. And in this city I imagine the libraries will be the first to go. So those few essential services that we still have left are going to be jeopardised and it means that the people these this city who are basically being brought to the knee. Well, we've been here for two years and naturally we haven't seen our MP, Paula Barker, who we helped get elected but we haven't really seen her since. Uh, the local councillors who voted to shut the place, uh, I don't suppose they're likely to come and give us any support, are they? So no, we haven't seen those people. What we have seen is massive support from the general public who are appalled at the Labour Council at carrying out the Tory cuts.